it doesn't always pay to follow the crowds and it, you know, it pays off more having your own individual space and identity and, and I think there's more and more people being drawn to places like Dunedin because of that, you know, it's, if anything there's more opportunity. From a very humble working class background, my mum was a dinner lady, uh, then she worked around a lot of factory kitchens, working on a burger van in an industrial estate. So as a kid I was always surrounded by the kind of hospitality environment. Um, I would always be in the kitchen with my colouring in book and pencils. At 13 I was working on the burger van with her for a little bit of pocket money. Um, I won't say what that pocket money went on. but. <laughs> Basically sold everything I owned, my record collection, and, and that funded my move to London. And I basically handed out my CV to places saying that I would work for free, I'd clean your floors, and just for the sake of getting a better education with food. So I used uh, being a chef as a way to explore the world. And that got me placed on like a best 100 emerging chefs list um, by food bloggers in Canada. I was in hospitality press in the UK. But it still didn't make me happy, you know, uh, as a chef. So Wild Fennel started off as a, a vehicle to move me from being a chef into being a dad. Three years later, here we are, you know, we've got a shop in Port Chalmers and it was, and I'm not a chef anymore. Big, beautiful flavours don't belong to an, an, an elite society. They're, they belong to everybody. And I think that is a really big reason why our spices are very successful. They're massive on flavour. You know, you've got 20 years as a chef backed into each pinch that you're, you're sprinkling on a little bit of fish or a little bit of lamb. I think the advantages to having a business in Dunedin is it gives you breathing space. And that was something that we never felt we had when we lived in a bigger city like Auckland. You know, it's a very fast paced lifestyle up there. And if you're not going at the same pace, you can be kind of consumed by it and it will swallow you up and spit you out the other end. Down here, it's the world is your oyster. It's, it's, it's fantastic.